What's up, YouTube? Hopefully you guys can hear me. Uh, a lot has happened since I last made a video. Um, I got like a a ton of legendaries. See, now I I have the princess, and I found another like I think it was yesterday, in like a free chest. I got the lumberjack. Uh, I believe I already told you about that Sparky, and I have had the lumber lava hound, and I also. I don't think I have any evidence to back it up, but... Oh, yeah, I do. I got to... Um, Royal Arena, as you can see. Highest trophies, 3,018. But then I kind of went on a losing streak and went back down to 2,700 immediately. You know. But the reason I'm making this video, I haven't made one in a while, is the fact that we just got 100 freaking gems right there. And you might be wondering, oh, oh, you did 12 challenges. That's awesome. What deck were you using? It's like, is it Hog Freeze? Something like that? No, it's actually not. Guess what freaking deck it is. Mortar, Skeleton Army, Musketeer, Arrows, Zap, Furnace, and Lightning. This thing is a freaking beast. I'm just going to show you a few replays here. This, this deck is insane. I got from Nick at Night. Like, I just watch his video sometime. This guy's a, f this guy's a genius. All right, just watch this. So we, you do that. You got to get the mortar to be like by itself. This was dumb right here. I put the musketeer. Peck is just gonna kill it. Um, yeah, that wasn't the smartest beginning. But this deck still like kills. So so he's gonna put his pump down, I believe. Right now? Yeah. Watch this lightning spell. It's incredible value since... Wait, do I lightning it? I don't think I do. Oh yeah, I'm waiting for something else to be put down. Um, There it is. Since the elixir collector is now six, six elixir, it's actually pretty much worth it. And this deck is in amazing against the three musketeers. As long as you know... As long as you don't get fooled by... See, I put the mortar in the back just because... Don't really have much to do about that musketeer. I mean, it, like, look at the mortar. It does splash damage and all that. I'm just going to put a, a skeleton army down. But since they made the elixir collector now 6 elixir, it is such good value. Because you just do 6 for 6. And they didn't really get anything out of that building. So, I believe, like, this is about... Once it gets to, like, double overtime, this is when you start to make your push. Like, you just have to surround the mortar with something so they can't take it out right away. And then you also have to put furnace down first, like right here. Furnace down, and then you put your mortar so in case, like, mini gob, I mean, mini, not mini pekka, minion horde or anything like that comes down. So... Right now, it's not looking so... See, now I'm just doing dumb stuff. All right, now we're going to take out both those and these zaps. See the, see the freaking mortar? Now the musketeer's going to take it out. Then we get another shot. And right now, this is... Look at this damage that this thing do. It's doing 200, probably because I don't have it that high upgraded. I think it's like only level 8, I believe. Now he uses his fireball. We're going to lightning. That does 300 damage, and we're, it's already down to 521. He hasn't, he hasn't even touched our towers. Put the mortar down. Yeah, it is level 8, so it's very underleveled. See that little fire spirit that did 150 damage? And all we need is a... A, um... Oh my god, what a, what a fireball. Alright, so... We're going to take all that out with the minion horde. And then all we need is... Hopefully that takes it out. Yeah. All we need is a arrow and then a no lightning and then zap. We're gonna take it out right here. Boom! Take some mox cured out and boom! Didn't even touch our tower. That deck is a freaking monster. And it listen to this. All right, once I get out of this replay, this is the crazy thing. I just started a freaking wait. Look at all. All of these battles are challenges. 
And I think I lost two. Yeah, I lost two. They're all 1-0. One, one, it's pretty much defense. And, and then when you get the chance, it's offense. So yeah, we even beat a Inferno. Look at all these legendaries. This guy had Striker J3. Man. Alright, so... Yeah, I'm gonna show one more video. This was with the Giant Skeleton. Which actually, I think it was a hard battle. I forget. But they usually all go to overtime, so... You just gotta battle it out. I mean, it, it's a pretty fun deck to use when you like get the hang of it. I think it's better for challenges than real play because those fire spirits. If you have a level seven uh, furnace, those fire spirits will do work to to really anything. Oh, this is the other. Yeah, this is another good game. So we're just trying not to. Take any damage from that giant skeleton. I don't even think the musketeer gets hit. If she doesn't. Watch this. So. Like I was just saying about the furnace. They do work. I'm just going you know, to lightning that down. And then we put the. Skeleton army down. Except that. One fire spirit does do work. Um, so the miner's not going to do much by itself. So we're going to just put the furnace down. And start up a. Mini push. Like. Per push, you get about, I'd say, like, 200, 300 damage, 400 maybe, if you're lucky. Because if you get two shots from the mortar, that's pretty solid. Plus, against hogs, you have so all these you have all these buildings, so it's even better. Please take that. I think we take out. Oh, no, we don't. So we're going to put the mortar down, which this is looking like a hefty deck. I mean, hefty push. And then we've got a zap. Perfect timing. Like, you don't get much better than that. And then I think we put the mortar down to support that musketeer because, yeah, we do. Wait, do we? Oh, and the musketeer gets damage off. No. We do skeleton army. And now we put the furnace down to set up. He's going to have to zap that and misses our fire spirits. But he's going to put another one down. Another furnace down. So what are we going to do? We're going to lightning that. Watch this. Boom. Oh, we don't do it yet. So we got to do that to, so we make sure that our minion horde isn't, um, you know, destroyed by those fire spirits. Otherwise, that would have been ugly. So we're going to go lightning that down. We got to... See, he's been wasting his zap on our tower for some reason while we just put our skeleton army down. He's trying to chip, chip damage. And we're going to put down the mortar... He's going to put down a freaking um, Inferno Tower. We zap that. That's not going to do much. So that was stupid. I shouldn't have zapped that. But I believe... Yeah, see how it's already going to overtime? Like, this deck is definitely a long, long like process. Now here, the giant bomb's about to drop, and we wait until that's done to put down our mortar. See, it's actually a pretty close battle. I didn't even... No, this one was that close. See, we had to put our minion horde down so that Inferno Tower tower gets destroyed. We're gonna lightning and one more hit. We're gonna put that down and one more shot. Game. See, this deck has pretty solid potential. I'd say it's actually pretty good. I was using the Lava Hound deck. Um. Yeah, I was using this one before. I gotta upgrade that. I was using that one before, and I wasn't getting many wins. I dropped down to 286.5. I mean, I was using it to get up to uh, Legendary, but it wasn't working that well. Uh, oh, yeah. We won 12 battles. So we're going to open this classic challenge. It's like the 10 gem one, but we're going to get 2,000 um, gold. So let's open this while we're here. Alright, 2000. Oh, I can upgrade that princess or the mortar. Which one? Oh, we get some mortars. Speak of the devil. Oh, 10 elixir collectors. A golem. Oh my gosh, this is a legendary. Oh, 85 spirit golems. Nice. Alright, well, that's going to wrap it up for this video.
thank you for watching and just for those of you who may still want to check this deck out i recommend it actually we're gonna upgrade this because it's pretty solid it's well worth it um yeah here's the deck please check it out and i'll see you guys later peace